I tried to reach all max in my banks today and that did not go well. Twins. <laughs> <laughs> Hello and welcome to a very sacrilegious attempt on making Regency undergarments. I need to go to the hairdresser. The corset. Pattern from Red Threaded. Short Regency stays. Bridgerton. With gussets. This will not end well. This will not end well. It's all fun and games, but Empire waistlines make me look pregnant. And that's, that's no good. But I want to try it out and see what will happen. Assemble and test. I'm feeling dangerous today. I'm not making a toile this time. <laughs> I'll go right to the final thing. These are the entrances for the gussets. I've never sewn a gusset before. Well, at least not that I can remember. But I'm kind of scared. Well, should this be cut off completely or just slit? What does it say in the instructions? Slash lines. So let's slash. Uh. Uh. Base stitch the fashion fabric to the muslin. Hello, have you subscribed yet? Maybe you would like to join me in my very historically inaccurate journey. So some gusses. I totally understand Regency. Fashion is all about the boobs. But imagine you going to a tea with the queen <laughs> like this. <laughs> So this is an XL, and I'm big on the poop area. So I need to reduce the gussets a little bit. Wow. I can plant roses here. My boobs are here to stay. I feel very appropriate right now. And, and this is atrocious. This should not happen. This is not how you sew a gusset. How you sew a gusset is actually simple, I discovered. Where are my gussets? There. You have to outpunch the end of the gusset, align it with the end of your slash, like this. Flippity flip. And then with no back stitching, important, no back stitching, not to bunch a lot of things here to the end. It worked. It worked. Now the last one, the last one, the last one. I bled on the fabric and I don't even know where this came from. Someone told me to spit on it to remove the stain. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> it's still looking extremely weird. There's a lot of fabric here. Oh, no, it's right. Because I'm gonna put a bone in here. Yeah, forget about it. This is good. I don't think I ever told you this, but I'm self-taught. Although I went to fashion school for a few years, sewing was not part of the curriculum at all. <laughs> it's supposed to be a very, very wide steel thing, but I don't have one, so I will use two of my thinner ones next to each other. And it should work. One, two, three, four, five, six. I found this cheapest sewing course I could find, so I could just learn to how to operate the machine and the rest I learned pretty much by myself. I never took an official sewing class in my life. The rest I learned how to do by recreating stuff and by watching other people do it and just like reverse engineering garments. So I think this is also one of the reasons why I have so much problem following instructions. I stay stitched the upper part so I can start with the bias tape. Before I cut the bone, I'm going with white because I don't want to cut bias tape in the color of this thing that will be underneath my clothes anyway. I'm so used to finding solutions for the problems that I have in hand that I don't go to the basics and go, okay, ballet, it will tell you that you were a dirty dancer because you don't have technique. And I'm a dirty sewer. I'm a dirty sewist. I'm a sewer, literally, because I don't know the techniques. But I don't care. But I don't feel like handling all of these metal boning shenanigans, so I will use the oldest zip ties. One, two, three, four. One zip tie was good for four channels. Yay! This might not be strong enough for the front part. Five minutes, all the bonings are completed. Ha ha ha. This thing on the front and nothing is the same thing. I need to buy wooden boning and I have no idea where. See you in a few days. I was scavenging the internets for the wooden busk and everything I could find in Germany was very expensive. And the ones that were affordable were in the US or Canada and then the shipping costs would be like three times the price of the busk. <laughs> so I came up with the best solution ever. It's a wooden ruler. We do what we can with the tools that we have. 
Germans and their eternal necessity for quality. Who puts a metal piece inside of a wooden ruler? Seriously. I don't have a twill tape that's wide enough, so I sewed one thin and one thick to replace the central boning channel. And now I need to sew the central boning channel again. I'm scared. It seems to be in the middle, so... Now finish it with bias tape on the bottom. The silhouette arrived from Italy after repairs. The silhouette overtook the costs for the repairs. The warranty was expired. Let's see if it's working, so I can finally work on the spider apartments. They sent me a brand new machine. Ooh. <laughs> this was very nice of them. Wow, wow! They could have just fixed it and sent me back the one I sent, but they sent me a new machine! <gasps> there we go! <laughs> spider apartments, finally! Spider apartments! <laughs> the shit! Using the body sloper. Something's wrong. I marked the high figure point on the wrong place. Move all darts to the high figure point and bump them all to the waist dart. Trace your neckline by squaring a line from the center front and reduce the shoulder width a little bit. Don't make the same mistake I did. Do not cut this yet. We are creating a very accentuated A-line, so just stretch that side seam with a straight line to the length that you want. On the back, shape the shoulder dart and using the front, mark the correct width of your shoulder strap. I had to dig in the trash to find the missing piece that I cut before doing this. Trace the back neckline, squaring from the center back and also using the front. Create the same A-line angle and voila! In hindsight, I think the front neckline should be a little bit wider, so don't be shy. Stretch that outwards. Show your boobage. Cut this on the fold, minding the seam allowances. I'm not sure if I'll put a facing or a lining on the upper part. Should I? I want to finish the neckline and the armholes with fire tape and piping because then I can pull the piping to make it more stable here. Bunching the fabric, but not really. It's the German way of doing that. To avoid unnecessary darts. No, definitely the facing. I'll cut a facing. I'll use this rest to make the piping thingies. I think this is enough. These are both side seams and I'll just get rid of this awful thingy. <laughs> so this right side's facing. The fit is fine. So now the facing. Wait, can I flip this inside out once I pin this? I'm having a brain fart, a very, very, very weird brain fart. No, I can't. <laughs> now we can do this. It's still not going to work. What did I do wrong? What? Wait. Ah, wait. I took the side seams apart. Let's do this in a different way. First, first, first the neckline. Now that we have lifted like this. Why is this so weird? Turned it right side out. Make the worst. And my brain doesn't work. I don't know why I keep doing stuff. Now it will work, or at least I think it will. Carefully pull this to the other side. Maybe it will have worked? I, I hope so. <laughs> it did! <laughs> nice! The same thing on the other side. Yay! Excuse me, princess. Why are you sleeping on the table? Are you for real now? Sorry, das. Und du? You have to catch the flies. You're useless. The pants. I was prancing through the internet again and I found that drawers in the Regency era are crotchless somehow. And <laughs> I, I don't really enjoy that idea. I will make myself pants that are pants. I don't need it to be historically accurate, I just need something that I can wear under the shift so I will avoid the chafing of my very thick thighs. That's the only reason I want this. So let's sew some very sexy panties, shall we? I don't feel like drafting a pattern for the pants. Let's just wing it. Hi, I'm pantless, this will not be enough. I need more. One leg. Let's sew and test it out. 
gigantic granny panties. So sexy. These are already sacrilegious, so I'm not doing a tying thing. I'm gonna put elastic bands. The sexiest thing ever. Elastic! So excited about this sexy underwear. So beautiful! I mean, I might just wear it to go grocery shopping. This is so cute! <laughs> The most inaccurate Regency drawers ever made. There. There she is. There. You're useless, did you know that? It's gone. It's not there anymore. Where's the hint? Where's the hint, Sushi? The troubleshooting. I tried everything on and it's not working. It's not working. There's still way too much fabric on the front and the shift is kind of bunching in the wrong places. When I wear it alone, it's okay. But as soon as I put it on with a corset on top, it does not work anymore. I want to achieve this shape. So I need to make very weird adjustments. I love when this happens. Ugh. First problem to be tackled is that it's way too big for me. That's why there is so much space in the front. I can't move these things anymore. What I can do is um, make this smaller by sewing it closer together. And that is exactly what I will do. I'll try this first. It should allow me to lace it a little bit tighter. And this is why you should make 12. Dress historians and people who can actually sew are probably having panic attacks right now asking what the hell is she doing? Well, I like to live dangerously. <sighs> How do you do this? And this princess over here is flying all over the place. I have no idea why, but only when I put the corset on. Take this apart again to gather the fabric a little more on the neck area. Hmm, I sewed over the cord. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's free. I'll try this again with the corset on. Oh, I can adjust everything that needs to be adjusted. Look at this mess. And look at this mess. Time to get naked. One day I'm going to hurt myself by wearing clothes. I turned very red. <laughs> Put the lid in place. Okay, it's way better now. There is still a little bit of fabric here. This would work better if the corset would be a little bit longer because then my belly would press the busk to the inside. Yes, but what do I do about this? Why is it not singing? It's like, Lushi. Can you please not destroy the room? It's raining outside, we can't play now. We have to wait for it to stop raining. I'm so sorry. It is again rainy outside, so we're doing this here. I somehow don't feel like flashing my underwear at neighbors today. I mean, these are pants I can endorse. They're so comfy and cute. They're so good. These pants are not appropriate for this period. Period. Because <laughs> again, I'm just wearing them so I don't have chafing on my thighs. It's kind of transparent, so I'll keep my hands here. Yes, my shift is short, but I prefer it like this. Unless I have a very transparent dress. I'm very squishy, so I think this is one of the main reasons this pattern is a little bit big for me. I think when I do make the dress, I will have to make better pants that are not so fluffy. This is going to work sort of like a petticoat and will push the dress outwards. And I don't think this is the right shape for this period. These are my undergarment shoes officially now. They have tails and I love them. Let me try without the pants. This is me without the pants underneath and it's really smaller than with the pants. So I think I'll leave the pants for another type of dress. <gasps> Oops, thing falling down. It keeps getting on my nerves, but I don't know what to do with all this. I'm just gonna hold it here. I would like to know what will happen when I have the dress on. If I will still look pregnant, even though I'm wearing a corset. Well, it's a short corset, so the bacon did move downstairs. I think it's cute. But again, I'm insane, so don't take me seriously. Ooh, before I forget, bacons, we have merch. I know, right? Exciting. I'll leave the link in the description below so you can visit the merch store. Oh no, my corset is open. Okay, it's tight again. Also, don't forget to join our Discord server where a lot of interesting things happen. I love seeing the stuff you do and this is the best way of me getting in touch with you directly. Is there any other era you would like me to try and make things like my nose? Let me know in the comments below. Oh, I'm so squishy that I forget that and I lace the corset as tight as I can and then I can't breathe. That's counterproductive. Breathing is important. This is just me trying to seduce you into subscribing. 
Let me know if it works. My bangs are very 80s. So poofy. In Portuguese, this is actually called a pega rapaz, which means a boy catcher. I'm all about catching boys today. Sassy. I think we have the undergarments ready for our Bridgerton dress. Any specific dress you want to see, let me know. I have one in mind, this over here, but I'm not sure about the yellow. And if you have anything you would like to see me struggle recreating, let me know. Tag me on Instagram, on Twitter, send some smoke signs. I'm very good at reading those. And I'll see you next week. Bye.